Hey guys, Zoeb here from OneGlanceTrader.com and I'm really excited to be sharing with you more detail around Dal Guppy's GMMA indicator slash system. Now, one of the biggest requests I've had since releasing the OGT price action indicator version 1.3 is more detail and information about how the GMMA kind of moving average system kind of works from Dal Guppy. Now after researching YouTube and trying to find the best video um, I managed to find a video of Dal Guppy himself uh, talking at a conference in Singapore which is around an hour long and if you guys are interested in understanding or listening to the full video of that the link of that video will be in the description but what I've done is that I have condensed down that hour video into around six minutes of information that you know explains really the basics and fundamental of guppies moving and multiple moving average uh, indicator and or system and what we'll do is after that video we'll go back to the charts and we'll look at the New Zealand dollar and the US dollar last year and this massive downtrend and how we can overlay the OGT price action indicator in these pullback scenarios that you can see in the chart in front of you um, to create high probability trades uh, with the OGT price action indicator and the GMMA analysis and the relationship between the short term and the long term um, moving averages so uh, oh yeah and I forgot to mention there's a completely uh, free bonus at the end of this video I will give you this template uh, that I've created for the GMMA and the OGT price action settings that I use to kind of trade the GMMA uh, absolutely uh, free there's no need to provide any emails and stuff so I'll talk you through how to download it um, and then how to apply it onto your MT4 platform so without further ado please enjoy the next six minutes of Dial Guppy going into more detail around his Guppy multiple moving average system and I shall see you shortly now I use a Guppy multiple moving average combination you sure this the other night if you're watching uh, Apprentice Asia. Because the two most powerful groups in the market are traders and investors. Traders are young, successful, and have lots of money. Investors are old, slow, and have lost a lot of money. <laughs> They're the longer term group. Slower to act. So we've got a trend line through here. Same as we're using on those patterns before. And we've got a close above here. Is this a genuine break of the trend? Don't really know. But what I do know is the traders are more aggressive. They'll come into the market and they're always trying to find out if it's going up. They keep on testing. If they make a mistake, they get out very quickly. Investors, a little bit slower to reach the same sorts of conclusions. So by using two groups of moving averages, I understand the inferred behavior of traders, short term, and investors. And to understand the traders, I use a combination of moving averages. Before I go to there, it captures the change in opinion and the change in strength that's taking place. And we do that by looking at the degree of compression in each of the groups of averages. When they compress, they tell us people are in agreement. When they are expanded, they tell us people are in disagreement. And when the two groups are separated, it tells us that, in this case, Inve the traders are very optimistic about the stock and investors are becoming increasingly optimistic. So it's safer and safer to buy in here for a continuation of the trend. When both groups combine and compress, when both groups agree, it tells us there is a very high probability of a major change taking place in the trend. So, how do traders think about that? Remember? And we track them with a 3, 5, 8, 10, 12 and 15 exponential moving average. $7.50. Who's prepared? You believe me that this stock is really worth buying at $7.50. You don't buy it tomorrow, you're going to miss out on the fortune that's going to recover all your losses from 2008, 9, and 10 combined. Believe me, trust me, I'm a trader. $7.50. Who's going to buy this stock at $7.50 tomorrow? Please indicate. 
Oh, I can see your investors. Okay. Who'd be prepared to pay $7.55, $7.60 to get the stock? Remember, you can make as many mistakes as you want tonight, you're not going to lose money. Who would prefer to wait for the stock to come back maybe to $7.40 before you buy it? Okay. You're the people who go to Jerome because it's about 10 cents cheaper in Jerome to buy stuff than it is in Singapore, even though you can only go with half a tank of fuel. The bargain hunters, even though we have the same information, we all agree it's worth buying, but we'll buy at different sorts of price levels. Some will buy it if it's a little bit cheaper, some will buy at the exact price, some will buy it when it's a bit more expensive. We get compression. Investors behave in the same way, except that they are slower. And we use 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 60 moving averages, exponential, to track their behaviour. Now investors, they are different people. I mean, I'm a trader. When I decide to buy a stock, the only person I have to tell is my wife, eventually. <laughs> doesn't have to know immediately. If it's successful, I'll tell her. If not, you know, it doesn't need to know that information. But if I'm an investor, I've probably got a committee I've got to talk to. I've got to go and convince other people to buy that we should be buying this. We should be buying Teplecore. We must be there. That's a week or 10 days, all the rest of it. Not good. So what happens is that although they reach the same information, the same conclusion, they take a bit longer. And what we get is compression, this agreement, across different time frames. Because when investors come into the market, they've got to move in much larger size, more difficult to execute. So this gives us the advantage. It tells us, here's our downtrend line. We're not too sure whether this breakout is genuine, it's going to keep on going up, or whether it's false. GMMA analysis tells us in this period, ah, uh, traders agree about price and value. They start to come into the market. You can see the compression and then the expansion. And a little bit later, we see that investors also come in. We see that first of all, they turn up, the bands narrow. When it narrows, it means there's agreement about price and value. This is a good stock at this price. It's correctly valued. Remember Warren Buffett? I don't really know him, but I'm sure that you've got a better relationship with him than I have. He says, buy good companies at good value. Underpriced, in other words. And that's what the investors are trying to do. So they're deciding here, this is a good company at a reasonable price. This is the agreement point. So when you get agreement between traders and investors, there's a high probability that this trend change is confirmed. Does it matter if you get in at $7.60? Or at $8.50? No, it doesn't. If you're a trader, it does. But if you're an investor, it doesn't. From an investment perspective, you want some greater certainty that this trend is likely to continue for four or five weeks or several months or hopefully, hopefully, hopefully for several years, just keep on going up. So we're not trying to get the very bottom. We're trying to get somewhere in here because there's a higher probability that this is going to continue moving upwards. Don't know how high it's going to go, but we can be fairly confident that it's going to move in that direction. That's what we're trying to do. So here are other groups. Here's a longer term chart. This is, uh, I can't remember what this one is, but it was very profitable. Very long, solid strike. All the investors just keeping supporting this trend. Wonderful people, I love investors. Without you, I can't make any money. I need safety cushion underneath so that when price comes back here, I can very, very safely enter into this trend because you're going to protect me. You're like an airbag on a car. I'm not going to crash. I know there's a high probability of a rebound. Back in here, here's another opportunity. You just come and give me money. Thank you, thank you. Go and see it, go and see it. I'm into here, same here. Am I worried about buying in here? No, not at all. Because this separation here tells me that investors are still buyers, they're not sellers. All the way through here, eventually, this long-term group begins to compress. Once it starts to compress, it tells me that some investors are becoming sellers. So when you get this pullback here, there's less chance of it continuing to bounce and continue. Now, if you're an investor, you have two questions. The first question is, you're an investor. Why didn't I buy here when it was quite clear that this trend? Why didn't I buy here? That's the second question. Because this chart has been available for everyone to see for the last three or four years. 
and it tells you very clearly that there was strong investment support for this particular stock. You could buy anywhere in this period and ride this from about $56 through to about $74. This is not an antidote to insomnia. You're not going to lie awake at night worrying about what's happening with this stock. You can sleep easily. It's a good, solid, underlying trend, and you know this because of that long-term group is widely separated that tells us it has long-term investment support. It's a key factor. I really hope you enjoyed that video from Dal Guppy that walks through kind of how the GMMA system works and the relationship between the short-term moving averages in blue and the long-term moving averages in red and how they you know expand and contract and what does all that kind of mean so what I want to quickly show you is how you can overlay the OGT price action indicator on top of this to kind of really find better more reliable um, confirmation signals uh, while using the GMMA indicator so like I mentioned here uh, at the beginning of the video you've kind of got uh, the first kind of pull back into the longer term moving averages with this pin bar again giving you a signal there to go short um, the next one you have is this area over here you've got two signals here this pin bar you know in my personal view is I would like the pin bar or price to really be inside the uh, longer term uh, moving averages without the longer term moving averages kind of crossing so you can see that even when price gets to here and the, where this engulfing candle was formed there was no change in the long term moving averages then you got this area here the third uh, kind of third pullback but there was no signal from the indicator so again we wouldn't do anything here then you've got this one here great one where price is even above the you know investor long-term moving averages here and um, again as you can see yeah they come up a little bit but they don't cross so they still keep their kind of you know place in line for more of a better term there and then we get a good sell-off over here then we get the last pullback here where this on the face of it looks like all the other signals um, and is a very good signal here but as you can see this is where the uh, change of the trend starts to take place um, um, there and then that down uh, downward trend line is eventually uh, broken now the only thing that I would say here is is when you get to this point because this is the one two three four the fifth pullback in the trend um, I would be I would still take the trade because the signal is valid, but I would be risking less um, of my capital uh, for each for each pullback uh, effectively. So then I'm protecting myself here. So the only advice I'd like to give you on this is that is when you get the signal and you are trading this type of system is find out which pullback you're actually in or which pullback the signal is confirmed. And I would I would risk more within no more than two percent of your trading account um on the earlier pullbacks and then and then less as we as, as we go in because this trend as you know trends will always change they'll always get exhausted and eventually they will um uh, they will turn so so that's the um how we can use the ogt price action indicator as an overlay of the gmma kind of indicator or system um, and as I promised at the beginning of the video, um, you can get this template uh, absolutely free. You don't need to, you know, give your email or anything like that. It is 100% free. And there's two ways you can do it. You can either A, click the link um, in the description or there should be a pop-up box appearing uh, kind of now to show you how you can, uh, 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 how you can get that. Or uh, you can simply uh, type in uh, into your favorite browser of choice oneglasstrader.com forward slash GMMA um, and then what it does is takes you to my box account where I have shared the template um, and there's two places where you can go from here just either hit the download here at the top or the download at the bottom uh, when you click the download button it asks you to download the file it is a dot 
TPL file, which is a short form for template, which what MT4 uses uh, as their file extension for templates. To save that on your desktop or on your downloads folder, wherever is uh, convenient for you. And then what you do is you open up your terminal, go to file, uh, open data folder. Um, and then you'll inside your data folder, you'll have a folder called templates and then paste in or move across the template you've just downloaded. Um, and then you should, it should be appearing inside your templates folder. Uh, once you've done that, go back to the terminal and there's two ways to kind of refresh the terminal. So then your um, MT4 knows that there's an updated template in the folder is you either shut down the terminal and turn it back on so it just refreshes everything or the second way if you've already got the terminal open is right click um, or go to the navigator menu uh, by this star folder kind of looking icon right click on or on an, any indicator and then just hit refresh and what it does it just refreshes the templates the EAs um, the indicators etc uh, et and then um, and then right click um, go to templates and then you shall see the OGT uh, GMMA template um, and like I said in terms of the indicators it's all the exponential moving averages which is standard on MT4 and like I said you could create this yourself um, but I've added the OGT price action indicator uh, template uh, which has the settings already made uh, for how I kind of trade uh, this system so they're, they're more looser settings so you get more signals but even here in this whole trend you only had a handful of signals and I, I know this is a year and but but you kind of get my point so in the full trend we're getting only five or six signals and some of these would you have taken this one would you have taken that one you know this it's all up to you and would you have taken this one over here um so you know these are the things that you know you need to start asking yourself and how you can use gmma analysis uh to work this out um so like i said i really hope you've enjoyed it um again the full hour kind of uh conference link uh from dal guppy um is in the link below so if you are interested um but other than that i really hope you enjoyed it and i shall see you on the next video